Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I decorate my living room, my kitchen, and my hutch dining area with 4th of July decorations. I decorated my whole house basically with things I already had on hand or things that I thrifted which weren't that many items. I did get a couple books like the ones I am stacking on here and they were about a dollar. I got about four to five books at that thrift store for the same price and a lot of the flags I already had on hand and I just decided to DIY some of my flags to look distressed and dusty and frame them in frames I already had so this was fairly inexpensive to decorate around the house and it was fun to be creative and make new things look old and vintage I really wanted to decorate in a vintage farmhouse patriotic early American type of style for the 4th of July To dress up my couch a little bit, I added this um, American flag little pillow that I got from Target's dollar spot a couple years ago, I think three or four years ago, and I just added in the center. And then for just a little touch of something, I'm adding a flag on the shelf up here. For my coffee table, I'm keeping it very simple. I'm just adding this picture and then adding some flags inside of it. To dress up the TV area, I just added a couple of flags on some amber glasses and some faux greenery around the dresser where the TV is. And I also wanted to share, I had these duck decoys and I've had them up since spring and I just never shared that. So I had to get creative on how to hang them up. I also had to go back to that thrift store and get this mirror that was for $6 and change and I just love how it looks here.
Moving on to my hutch, I've had these little blue flowers that I got a couple years ago for fall one year. I was really into blue for fall and I just grabbed a couple of those pieces and added them to this little picture. Inside of my fondue false graph pot plate thing, I added a bunch of leftover ribbon that I wrapped around in a cloth pin um, and made it look like if it was spools of ribbon in there just to add a little vintage farmhouse flair. Like I mentioned, I didn't go crazy for the 4th of July with decorations. I pretty much kept all of my big elements on the hutch from spring time the same uh, for this summer. And I'm just adding some decor around what I already have on here. It was really fun to come up with creative ways to use what I already had in a different way. Like this kitchen towel, I folded it to look like a folded up triangular flag and I just love that I was able to use this still in a different way. I made this garland to dress up the top of my hutch where I am hanging it and I just love how it turned out. It's a bunch of different type of ribbon from Hobby Lobby when they were 50% off. For my dining centerpiece, I wanted to do something simple, but kind of do a little bit different than what I had here for springtime. So I found this sewing box that I've had for a long time now and add this arrangement that I already had from springtime. And I'm just adding a kitchen towel and a couple plates and a flag inside of the arrangement and I think that it's simple and very um, functional as well if I wanted to use the plates or add some utensils in the center of it for dessert plates or something like that. Um, I think it's a really neat idea if you have a small narrow table like I do. So this corner cabinet, I wanted to keep it really simple, but I had to bring out my Coca-Cola crate, which is when I typically display it out. This is for the 4th of July, and it's very sentimental. It's not that old. It's from 1981, but um, I got it when I first moved out here to Georgia and when I got married. So I love displaying it out for the 4th of July 
and I just decided to put it up here on the corner cabinet and put the basket with the florals inside of it. This wall decor picture is from Hobby Lobby at 50% off, so I think I paid like $8 for it. And I just love the colors on it. It really brings in the 4th of July colors without being so 4th of July-ish, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I just really liked how it tied all the colors and that vintage farmhouse vibe. Here in the kitchen, I'm keeping things really simple and I'm keeping the same layout just by adding one or two things around what I already had on here. Here's another Dollar Tree flag that I distressed and add cinnamon to create that dirty look and add it to a frame. I added one of these little 4th of July flywheels or pinwheels, I'm not sure what you call them, inside of the basket arrangement and added this blue ladle that I found at the thrift store. On the opposite side of my kitchen, I just added another distressed flag that I DIY'd and added on the frame. And I'm adding my copper teapot that has these blue touches on the handle. And over on this corner, it is very hard to decorate because there's the cord for the microwave on there. So I just added this little thrifted tea uh, party book and then added a flag inside a little creamer. I recently made this DIY chalkboard to hide the side of my fridge so now I get to use it for kind of decor I guess with a saying and I just thought of something really quick as I was decorating and filming this while my kids were in their quiet time so I just used a chalk and wrote let freedom ring. I'm not a calligraphy artist, so I'm sorry if you are really good at calligraphy and this is making you cringe, but I was also working with a really, really small, almost non-existent piece of chalk. I couldn't find any other pieces, so I had to make do with what I had. And then later I found some of my son's summer chalk, so I go in with some 
different colored blues to kind of draw in some lines and add some firecrackers and a little bit of a bell just to add to the element here of visual interest and I think it turned out pretty good. We have been growing zucchini in our garden and we picked some and I was able to make some zucchini bread. So it's such a perfect treat for summertime. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite thing to bake in the summer. Thank you so much for watching and for decorating with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some ideas and inspiration on how to use your current 4th of July decor and maybe incorporating some thrifted finds with your 4th of July decor so that it is still budget friendly and you can create this vintage farmhouse americana patriotic decor for this fourth of july so if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed i would love to have you here and be part of the considered all joy community and you can do so by clicking the red subscribe button down below and i hope to see you again in the next video bye